Yes, boss. 444 the world back in there again once again, y'all. Happy to be here, happy to see you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? People get mad when you won't let them use you, right? Now, here's the deal. I've seen that people can get mad for different kinds of reasons, and I can understand that some are definitely justified, right? Somebody can get mad at you because you probably forgot to tell them something or forgot to do something for them. You might have told a lie. It's different things, right? But in all in all, like, how can I say it? I always say the mind goes far and whatever it is that you pick up and practice in life, you'll get good at it. So if you do a lot of bad, you'll get good at that. If you do a lot of good, you'll get good at that. You get what I'm saying? So it's all about choices. It's crazy how people get mad when you won't let them use you. And that's very much far-fetched as hell and it's very weird. I've experienced that a lot in my life being an empath and I always ask dog why is it people get mad bruh like I didn't do anything to you you get what I'm saying and I really had to sit back and think about it like this right when I said people have this expectation built up in their mind like yo if I want something out of you, I can get it out of you. That's whatever you told yourself in your mind. And you told yourself that in your mind based on your previous experiences. If you do a lot of bad, if you do a lot of good, whatever it is that you pick up and practice in life, right? So some people will look at you like, yo, this person knows how to do something I don't know how to do, but I need this, bro. I need this, right? They don't want to learn it on their own. They don't want to go through what it is that you went through to learn it, but they want you to take your time and give it to them like a narcissist, right? So you could kind of say this video does kind of attack narcissists in a way or people who have narcissistic traits, right? If you have something of value that somebody wants, they will use that as a way to get mad that you won't let them use you, right? And it's like, dog, why are you really mad? And they can't answer that question for you. They know what they're doing is messed up. It's screwed up. But they're like, dog, it doesn't matter. You have something I want. I got to get that from you, right? Give you an example. When I said I was tied into music, right? And this is why I say as an empath, I drop rules of an empath and I got a couple more dropping, right? You cannot help everybody, bro. Because when you help people, some people develop this thing where it's like, yo, you're obligated to helping me now, right? You have to do this, right? And that's where things will go wrong and uh, go wrong for people. I had an artist, right? The artist that I work with begged me, asked me one, two, three times to join his movement, right? And it's like, dog, if you ask me the first time and I'm like, nah, I ain't going to do it. You ask me the second time, I'm like, I don't know, bro. It's like, I don't know. The third time you ask me, it's like, you know what, bro? I'll, I'll, I'll see something, right? And I'll work with you, right? If you got to ask somebody multiple times to do something or join you, it's a point of like, you're like begging now, right? So, bro, beg me like damn near in a way to join because I never asked to join this shit. But if I see something that needs to be fixed that can be a benefit to the team, I'm going to do that. That's where that being a link, a strong link matters. You feel me? From me helping out, bro, he's seen, yo, you know how to market. You know how to do certain things. But it's like, yo, I'm doing this off of the strength of, yo, we supposed to be like homies. Wrong mistake that I learned, right? Not everybody is your friend. People will see that you have something that they want and try and give you something that you don't have in returns to get what it is that they need up out of you. Okay, you look like you don't have friends, you don't have nobody around you, I'm going to use you. I'm going to manipulate you, right? Went to prison, came out, all of that. Some people never had somebody to try and, yo, do this, bro, go this route. Trying to help, buddy. Not trying to listen, right? 
from me trying to help him, it put me in the in the ends where it's like, dog. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to cut ties now because it's like you taking your thing and doing whatever it is you want with it, and it is what it is, dog. It's yours, bro. You started this supposedly. You asked me for my help, but it's like if you ask me for my help, do not waste my time. Do not play with my time. That's what you're gonna pay for it, right? I withdrew myself from the situation after seeing we start going viral, a lot of things start happening, but you're doing things in a dirty kind of a way. Just because I have the business plans, I have a whole lot of ideas for this project, he's getting mad that I won't give it to him. I won't share that stuff. You're not paying me. You was trying to finesse me, but everything works out in God's favor in the way that God, will, God wants it to. You feel me? Because I wasn't trying to let him use me, that's when he's like, yo, I'm threatening you now. If you do certain things, I'm going to have you killed, right? Using power to try and fuck over somebody else, right? That's a form of an imbalance, right? That's where really you see the mindset of people and how dirty they are, my nigga. So because you have prison ties, you have gang ties, you feel like I'm out here by myself, but I want to help people. You beg me for my help, my nigga. Now because I learned too much about you and it's like, fuck, I done messed up too much. Now I got to put the pressure on him. I'm going to have you kill, my nigga. I'm going to put all type of pressure on you. Bruh, wrong person to play with. You feel me? And that's how God kind of uses you to do certain things. Because I refuse to help him and give up certain powers and let him, oh yeah, you can use me whatever my benefits are. No, you can't have that. It's a problem. And that's the thing. People get mad when you won't let them use you. Another example. Let's say you have a car, right? And you know somebody that doesn't have a car but you let them use your car, guess what? They will get mad when it's like, yo, I need to use my car, dog. No, I have plans for this, that, and the third. Do you have a car? No, you don't. You got comfortable with my shit. You get what I'm saying? And this is where you have to be very leery of who you hang around and who you do things for, bro. Because some people in life have this entitlement. So it's like, yo, if I can't get certain things, I'm going to use whatever manipulation I can to get what it is that I need up out of you, right? And that IE is soft and weak as hell, bro. Weak as hell, dog. Weak as hell, bro. If you have to do certain things like that to get your ways out of people, you're weak as hell, dog. And that, that's a call for no respect, my nigga, at all, bro. No respect at all, bro. At all, dog. In life... Everybody has something that they're good at. Some people, they have to go on a search for it. Some people are born with certain things. But at the end of the day, if you want something, money, you have to go out there and get it. Some people, like I said, are super entitled and they have like a falsified godlike complex. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Some people feel like because they've done certain things in the world that the world deems as being real, solid, authentic. You rob people. You hurt innocent people. Oh, I'm with it. I'm with the shits. So because I'm all of that and you got something that I need and you're not going to give it to me, I'm getting all of my gangs involved and I'm going to have you killed. My nigga, your pussy is fucked, dog. So pussy, dog. So pussy, dog. So pussy. And I'm going to tell you what makes it even worse, right? Because people have, uh, like I said, going back to people have this... False belief in their mind. I'm the shit. Nobody is better than me. Then it takes somebody who's like, yo, I don't care about what it is that you care about. You feel me? I want certain things out of life in a different kind of way. Certain things like that humbles people like, yo, who the hell are you? So you don't want to have all the ice. You don't want to have all the diamonds, the Rolls Royces, the women. Bro, there's some things in life that are bigger than that. You feel me? Bigger than that. And I'm going to tell you how things go deeper, why people do these devilish ass things like, oh, I want this and what you got, I need to have that. Like, like their shit is yours, right? Because people jumped out head first into the world and did a lot of worldly shit and didn't end up with nothing. And they see you didn't have to do not even a tenth, a quarter, a third or a half of the stuff that they did. 
and you get all the love and all everything times 10 without all the BS that they got, it makes them even more pissed up. That's what make people build more jealousy, hate, and envy, dog. Because guess what? You got something I want, but how did you go about getting it? I work hard for it, dog. That's why when I tell you this, these certain videos and certain messages, there's a lot of underlying reasons behind it, right? So never let anybody in life use you and pay attention to the signs that people throw out there, bro. Because some people say things in an underlying way. They'll project to you how they feel. Or oh, I'll do this or I'll, or, or I'll do that. And this is the funny part about it, right? But he said certain things to me, but he said it in an underlying way, like under wraps, like I'm stupid. You're not, you don't have enough balls to say that directly to my face. You're going to say it underhandedly, like I'm stupid, right? So, okay, that's why I'm going to make sure I go all the way out, like I said, do all of these videos because I seen something when that happened to me. Dog, imagine how much people are getting certain people like to come against them or like do evil things to them and they never had any form of a negative or, or evil intention. And these things go unnoticed and swept underneath the rug, dog. You feel me? I'm going to be real, dog. In my life, I've never been a coward, bro. I stand for certain things, but I want to find my direction. One thing anybody got to know about me and I stand on this, I'll cut my skin and bleed about this shit. I hate evil people, dog. Especially when you do fuck shit to people who ain't deserve it, bruh. That's why I make certain videos and I say things for people to catch in the underlying way. If I had good intentions towards you, right? And then you tried to take certain things and switch it back on me and make me seem like I'm crazy. A game like my mother played on me. That's why that little rapping ass nigga is not safe, bro. When I drop the dot, if I feel like it, bro, because that's how I want to see how, how much balls a nigga got, bro. How much balls you got, bro. You get what I'm saying? Because you watch my shit faithfully. You send hoes. You send a whole lot of people to come and ask about me, my nigga. Instead of being a fucking man and admitting, yo, my nigga, I was wrong, my nigga. I did some fuck ass shit. I did some bitch ass, some whole ass shit, bro. But you're not stopping and you took certain shit from me and you ran my name like it's a game, bro. Any nigga who listened to me thus far watch any of my videos and know that I'm serious about this, I do not play about my name. I do not play about how I feel about good versus evil. I don't play about none of that shit. That's something that I, I literally, I'll spend bread behind and I'll die behind that shit. Because I know this for a fact. Everybody that was brought into this world has a purpose, has a reason, has a soul, a being, some form of a calling, right? So for somebody... To want to come and interfere with you and what you want to do to help people, right? And try and throw rocks at you and make you feel like you're delusional or try and put you in your head like you're crazy and then try and get people against you and gaslight you. I'm the wrong fucking person to play with. If you ain't watched me thus far, my mom played a stupid ass game with me and I got private investigators watching that hoe. I heard my mom is in a hospital the other day, dog. And I don't laugh about shit like that. But that's your karma. You're in the hospital. I'm not fucking playing with you or anybody on that shit, bro. If you see somebody got something going for themselves and you want to come against them on some demonic shit like, oh, I'm going to stop you. I'm going to do whatever I can. You're going to pay for that shit, dog. There's nobody to stop or tell people, yo, certain things need to be stopped. We got to come together. We need to stop this evil stuff. We need to stop this demonic behavior. It's because some people ran their course and ran their tab too high. And it's like, yo, I feel like you can help me clear my tab. Or you're the only person who can help fix my issues. You put yourself in the waters. That's why some people get mad that you will not let them use, uh, that they can't use you, bruh. Because the shit that they've done, they put themselves in that water and they can't bring themselves out of it. But they believe you, you're the person who can take me out of these waters. I'm not doing shit like that. Because if the roles was reversed, you wouldn't do that for me. You get what I'm saying? Understand this in life, bro. I got love for everybody. I don't hate nobody. I have love for everybody. But I have a big fucking problem when a nigga want to come against me and I ain't do nothing to you, bro. That's when you're going to see a whole nother side of me, dog. A whole nother side of me, dog. And I pray I don't have to do that shit because I don't like when people 
like to live off of pride and ego, do dumb shit, and it's like, I'm gonna prove to everybody I am the man. Do not try and prove anything against me, dog. You're gonna lose. I get, I guarantee this shit. I, I, I study this shit like it's chess. My nigga, I'm not backing down from a fucking soul, bro. I don't care what gang you bang, what set you claim, none of that shit. If you coming against me and I ain't do nothing to you, my nigga, you got a whole lot of problems coming for you. You feel me? Because I know who I believe in. I believe in Yahweh. I pray to God, bro. God know my heart and what it is that I want out of life, bro. You get what I'm saying? That being said, remember this, bro. In life, never try to use people for things that you do not have. If you don't have good intentions or genuine feelings towards that person, it's only going to backfire and harm you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Never play with somebody because when the game gets reversed and you get played with, it's not going to be a funny feeling, dog. It's too much people who've been playing with me and they've been skating like this shit is like a fucking, like a Disney ice hockey rink show or some shit. I'm not playing with nobody, bruh. That's why my mom is on the type of time she's on and she's in the hospital. I just found this shit out, bruh. I just found this shit out. My mother's in the hospital, dog. And to be honest, I wouldn't even ask questions. Yo, wh which hospital is she at? Which room? I I'll come and see her. Fuck out of here. I don't give a fuck about you, bro. God forgive me. God, God excuse me. But you do fuck shit to people, I don't give a fuck about you. You get what I'm saying? If you want to change and do better, yeah, I got some love for you. But at the end of the day, I don't have no sympathy for people who do dumb shit, build up their tab of fuckery, and then want to try and get somebody else to come in. Come clean that shit up for me. Shit don't work like that in life, bro. Somebody got to draw the line somewhere, dog. And that's why a lot of people played with me. I'm going to keep doing certain shit. And you're going to get caught up. And it's going to get put up on here, bro. It's going to get put on this shit, bro. Stop playing with people and stop doing dumb shit to people, bro. Things that you wouldn't want to have somebody do to you, don't do it to them. You get what I'm saying? That being said, understand this, dog. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I use them to uplift you. Because everybody is a champion. Nobody is a loser, dog. You get what I'm saying? That being said, that's your boy 444 The World. Love you guys. Peace. Don't work too hard.